Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is November 30th. Uh, grain markets relatively quiet overnight. Corn unchanged, beans up two and a half with wheat down about a penny. Uh, last day of the month, uh, are we going to see some back and forth trade today? We probably will. Uh, but wheat is working a little bit lower at this time, mostly because of deliveries. We had big deliveries over the weekend. Uh, we're, we're into first notice day now for the December contract. Uh, and uh, that may end up pushing uh, this December contracts around. So stay out of them, get rolled out of them. If you don't have any business being in the December contract, probably not, probably should look at trying to get that moved if you are. Um, Argentina's Ag Minister over the weekend also stated uh, that they, they did confirm uh, that once the new government takes office, that they are going to abolish this export tax for corn and wheat. And uh, the new president takes office on December 10th. So watch for that as we get uh, closer to December 10th. Uh, for any kind of price movement, um, there's not a lot to talk about. So we're looking for things uh, in order to, to move these markets around. Uh, but the other thing is going to be the FOMC meeting December 15th through the 16th. So will the Fed change rates? Are we gonna see rates finally go up? If so, how is that gonna affect the dollar? How is that gonna affect uh, commodities as a whole? So December 15th and 16th, we're gonna have a lot of guys talking about that. Uh, the dollar is stronger this morning, putting pressure on a lot of commodities. Uh, but there is talks out there that uh, European central banks are going to continue this quantitative easing that they've been doing that is putting pressure uh, on the euro and in turn actually strengthening the dollar uh, here as well. So that's yet another thing that has put this dollar in an uptrend, but certainly something that we have to pay attention to as we go forth. So uh, livestock expecting a, a mixed open. We did see box beef uh, a little bit higher. Choice up 31, select up $1.74 putting Packer break-evens at 127. Now, we did see some trade last Wednesday for cattle, 124 in the north. That translates to about a 127 trade for Kansas. Uh, so steady. Is this finally going to be the turn for cash cattle? Can we see higher trade this week? We'll have to wait and see, but we'll see if the market gets a little bit uh, hyped up on that early this week as well. So uh, expect some choppy trade. But cash is still king. We've got to certainly keep an eye on that. Uh, hogs are in a range. We're just range bound right now. Um, the calls this morning are mixed for the open. Cutout values up 68. But can we get a little strength for hogs as well on a seasonal basis? Typically, we do see some strength out of hogs and continue to push us a little bit higher. Stock market up 26. You got crude oil right now up about 60 cents and the dollar up about 14, continuing to surge higher. But give us a call if you have any questions. We're here to help you out, 800-262-7538 or on the web at allendale-inc.com. You guys have a great day out there. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.